now you've got a third foot. Your right foot is the paternal, the left foot is the maternal, the right foot is the world, the left foot is the home, and the third foot is you. The third foot is your soul that has to figure out how to build a matrix between the stock of the paternal and maternal. How do you always mediate? One trick is to know how to integrate the right and the left with the narrative of the third. Integrate the right hand and the left hand, and it establishes the third hand, which is leveraged through the elbow. When you play your vision, you can play the right eye and the left eye, but it is by virtue of also getting around yourself and seeing different angles that you eventually integrate with the third eye. The poses that are really tight are really designed to integrate third narrative, which is your third eye, your third hand, your third foot, with what you're playing with, with the other hands, the other eyes, the other feet. So the poses that have the most integrity really give you the best reference with the narrative of the Trinity. Not just playing two feet, but three feet. Not just playing two hands, but three hands. And not just playing two eyes, but three eyes. When you play with one thread, you play with one story. When you play with two threads, it's easy to start polarizing or finding integrity. But once you start playing with three, you start weaving. So weave these poses. You flip the hand, so what's on top is on the bottom, what's on the bottom is on top. I like to take my elbow and fit it on the outside edge of my foot. Since hearing is stereophonic, the better your position, the more you can hear what goes on around you. Vision is linear. Anytime you see something, there's always a reflected angle. Hearing is stereophonic. Every time you hear, hearing is surround sound. All of these poses are proofed by the geometry of framing, by the form of informing, by knowing that by virtue of the individual, you can manipulate the forms to be more functional.